Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and maybe you're looking at a brand new laptop, brand new desktop and um, I've seen Intel chips that are uh, basically numbered with um, Intel i3, i5 or i7 and they have this uh, little number next to it. For example, my Toshiba laptop has a Core i5 which is a 3210M CPU. Now you're probably saying to yourself, what does it mean? And what should I choose? If I'm at the store, I'm an, I've got an i3 or an i5 or an i7 in front of me, what do I buy? Um, and that's probably the most asked questions. People go to the store, look at that, just don't understand much about it. And lots of people actually I've seen buy the cheapest. They'll go with the i3, and um, but others will say, well, is i5 or i7 really better than i3? What, what's the difference between all three of them? Uh, I'll try to put it really the down-to-earth explanation. There's not going to be technical stuff, much technical stuff in what I'm going to say here, uh, because that's probably the best way people understand stuff. Um, Basically, okay, we can consider i3 being the low-grade Intel processor, i5 is the mid-range, and i7 is the higher hand of the processor. So, don't think of that as quality. It's not, nothing has to do with quality. The i3 and the i7 have the same built quality what they don't have is the same processing power so an i3 will not break down uh, sooner than an i7 it's just a different type of processor power basically um, what is admitted among most technical experts is that the core i5 in Intel is the best money can buy um, if you compare it with the price you're paying. So you probably have more for your money on an i5 than you have on an i3 or an i7. That's the first thing. So um, when my clients call me up and say, well, I should, what should I buy? I basically always say, Look, you don't do that much with a computer if you're doing just general email and, um, you know, a little internet searches. If you've got the money to do it, buy an i5. An i5 will bring you good performance. Whatever i5 you'll buy will be a great machine. And what's cool is that the i5 has a um, built-in graphics chip, which is also a cool feature here. Now, if you don't have too much money and say, well, you know, I only have enough money to buy an i3 machine, am I doing a bad deal? Well, you're not really doing something like a bad deal. I wouldn't call it like that. It's just that the performance difference between an i3 and an i5 is big enough that if you put both machines next to each other, you'll see that the i3 is typically slower in its performance. And um, I rarely, rarely say to people, buy an i3. But I also, um, you know, I also know that not everybody has money to spend on, an, you know, sometimes $100 more for a computer is a lot for some people and for a lot of people. So buying an i3 is not buying a bad machine. It's just buying a machine that has slightly less processing power but if you only do email and internet and stuff like that, you'll still have a good machine that will still run at, you know, a reasonable speed. If you've got the money, I really, really push much more to the i5 processor. More performance um, and also the performance you get with the um, money you'll pay is actually better than both the i3 or i7 and uh, if you buy a laptop what's nice about the i5 
is that it's also a, a processor that has something called um, Turbo Boost technology and so um, it can actually shut down a core and make it run faster than rated in the case of a um, application that uses only one internal core because all these cores all these i3, i5 and i7 have different cores some have two, some have four so uh, depending on um, what you'll choose applications also need to use all those cores so better bang for the buck i5 buy an i5 it has an integrated um, HD graphic architecture that's already there so there's a built-in graphics processor with the i5 which um, is often pretty good not the best but it's good you know good performance graphics and finally who should buy Core i7's um, I would say if you're a high power user you're, you're doing lots of Photoshop stuff you're using uh, you're playing games on your laptop these are high demand applications that are better served with an i7 that has more cores up to six on the uh, chip and also um, usually what they do on the i7 is that they'll put a uh, graphics chip uh, on the motherboard because the i7 does not have uh, necessarily a, a built-in graphics chip and so gamers you know gamers and i power users will be better served with an i7 but it's more expensive um, so if you look at that and say well should I choose i5 or i7 or i3 just keep it simple an i3 will still be a good machine but slightly slower than an i5 um, that's the low budget you don't have too much money to spend on a computer hey buy an i3 and it's gonna be okay you've got more money to put on a computer then I would gener generally say take an i5 you'll have better bang for the buck and uh, well you're a really a big power user business user that needs uh, Photoshop stuff or needs to render videos and stuff like that buy an i7 it's much more powerful and will do much more uh, for you um, and don't fall into the category of people that buy i7 just because it's more expensive must be better most people do just you know nothing with their computer and um, for them even an old core to duo machine will still do a lot of work and be great so don't go crazy on choosing your laptop or desktop computer no money go with the i3 more money i5 is the best and powerful users go with the i7 of course sometimes you've got these sales that brings i7 machines to the level of the i5 for example of course if you're looking at two machines that are the same or almost at let's say 699 one has an i5 the other one is in sale for a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars less and it's the same price and it's an i7 and you can go with the i7 of course because it'll still be paying the same price anyways so I uh, hope this helps a little bit and if you have questions on uh, maybe computer that you've seen and you don't know how to uh, really choose um, hey um, ask away there's no stupid questions always remember that and if you're asking yourself a question there's a good chance that other people are actually asking the same questions also if you enjoy our videos want to learn more about Windows 8 uh, hey, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online if you've got um, a request of a, an app or a feature you'd like to see uh, reviewed or that we could talk about and explain let us know we'll try to put a video online and hope you come back and watch lots of our videos online that are already more than 100 lots more coming up 
So if you've got that new Windows 8 machine, you're a little lost, this is a great channel to learn more about it. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.